a sweetie. And like I said, we have siblings. We have siblings, and I'll tell you the whole story now. I tell my part of the story, and they'll tell theirs. But how it started off me is was the only thing I remember before I came here was me being really, really young and just being in an orphanage. And I remember this day pretty well. I was adopted out to a new family. I never knew I had siblings. I didn't know until I got to high school. And I bumped into them and we all became really good friends. Yeah, we all did. Mm-hmm. We all knew there was something about each other that just felt so natural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I remember I was just like, you know, the, um, some boy was really, really messing with someone with a good friend of mine. And I knew my palace. I knew it. But all of a sudden, I just lost it, and my snake side showed. Luckily, that boy and my best friend didn't see it, because these four pushed me into the janitor's closet. They were able to calm me down. I told them my pod story. And that's how we met. Let's tell this next. I guess I will. Well, it's mine's pretty much like just like the beginning from hers. I was adopted to a different family. Once you saw my title side, the put me back in an orphanage. Mm -hmm. So I was in the orphanage for a little while until um, I needed to I was adopted out by Master Splinter. And I went to high school because he thought we all needed an education. Mm. Yeah. And, um,. I didn't exactly know the guys at the weather's yet, but we were all really close friends. Even with you, we were all really close friends. Um, one day, I remember it pretty well. Yeah, I think I remember this one too. We all just walked down the hallway, then I tripped in um, the needle that we used to keep each other from rotating well, each other's turtle side fell out. And I just turned back into my turtle. And the other guys and you saw, they all pushed me back into the closet. And that's the story for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that day pretty well. You do? Mm-hmm. I remember that day pretty well, because that's the day I showed myself, too. I see if you push you in the closet and saw the your title, you start trying to explain. But, yeah, I understood. I understood perfectly well. I showed my true form that day, too. But before that, it was pretty hard for me. I, the orphanage I went to, born now. All the other kids except for me were adopted out. I didn't know the place to go, so I wanted to speak until I... Found the sewer and I lived there until Master Splinter found me. And that's. And I remember that when you had lost your needle, I thought I felt there was something that just felt light, so I showed you guys my true form. Yeah, it's kind of similar to me. Really? Mm hmm. Except I was. Well, let's just say I was adopted out with Mikey. Like, we, that didn't last very long. We were all given back to the orphanage. We stayed together. Like, um, I remember our very first day of high school. Some kids decided to give Mikey a hard time and start making fun of him. So we talked, and I did not take that lightly. Mike would see it in my eyes that so I went full rampage. I started trying to attack the guy. When I was trying to do that, um, let's just say, um, my ninja came out and my needle had fallen out just like it did with a few of you. Um, Mikey saw what was going on and he quickly, quickly went into ninja mode and grabbed me and revamped. And that's 
pretty much that was for us. And that's when we found you guys. Yeah. Seems like all our stories are pretty much alike in some way. Mm hmm It does seem like up to half of our stories the same. Wait, mommy, I have a question. Where's the selfie? Are they wearing really costumes or not? Mm, I think that's what we all must have to answer. Yes, we are not wearing costumes. What? But how? Sweetie, I'm like them. I'm able to transform too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm able to transform. I'm able to control mine. I have the power to go human or mutant whenever I want. Wait, I can't control my mutant side very well. I'm able to control it some, but it's difficult. So that's why you never see me in my mutant side. That and we all have our own team of ninjas. We fight crime. We strike bass. But we fade away quickly. Mm-hmm. And there's actually been something. I want to show you. You know, show her. In fact, maybe I should get all the gloves. Hmm? You'll see. You'll see. I am red ring. Hmm? Wait. Mommy, you're red ring? I've heard of that on the news. That me, sweetie. That's what I'm called during the day. But at night, you know how you guys bed times are so early? The reason for that is because I have to go and help them. It's every night. This is my outfit. I wear this cape during the day to conceal myself. But at night, it's just time to let it loose, let it go. Mm hmm. I still do wear dark clothes that conceal myself. Because ninja never can be seen. That's just the code of the ninja. But for now, we think it's time we teach you about the code of the ninja. So, we must teach you ninjutsu. We must teach you ninjutsu. And we have a few secrets. We've been meaning to tell you for a while. But we've never had the chance. Michael, Sierra, KK, Code Green. Huh? Is it time, Mom? Mm hmm. Boy, was that a close one. Yeah. Mommy, why did you hide them? I had hidden. People wouldn't understand. Half the other have this idea. Now. Come on. Mom. Please, no. I need you. Here, stay right there. Mommy, why are they all. What are they doing here? Code green. Uh, only happened. Oh, Mom, you're a little bit of you really need to learn how to do this. Hey, will you try ban me? Who knows who KK is? Check in her room. Oh, I need KK, come on. Where is it, Mom? Come on. Mom, what are you doing? Come on. I spoke to Mom. Just come on. Okay, um, what, what code green is it? They were attacked. You don't know where my, you have no idea where Mikey is. I think it's time for the show party. I'm being angry now. Getting out your powers. Getting out them? Mm -hmm. Dang, it might be time. All of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Hey, who's yours? Text me back Why? You never know. Your mom's the music, you never know. Ready, ready? Just about my classroom. On it. What? Yes, everyone is in their costume, mother. You didn't need to show you guys. Maybe it'll be best so people know the real the good guys. Who guys? Who are they? We each have two names for each other. Her name is Shadow. She's swift. She's precise. She's, she can kick butt. So, yeah, like I can kick butt. She needs knives. And this. And him. We call him Blast. He's able to blast so fast. He knows everything about space. He knows everything about rockets. He knows Mom's member of the team. Mm -hmm. He may be wheelchair bound, but he still kicks butt himself. He possesses powers too. Mm -hmm. Someone, hand me something to try to attack him. Point it. Catch. Hut. Really good. In next. Yeah, her. She's swift. Very swift. She's perfect for the reason. Mm -hmm. She may have cancer, but that does not stop her. She is able to. She's able to blast in. She's the perfect aim precise. In other words, she is the best. She is our daughter. She walks in the shadows. She is the best. She's a mini me. We call her Black Queen. She is Black Queen. And now, it is your turn. Ready? We've been waiting a long time to give you this. But it is now your time to give you it. It's time. For this. What is it? It's a bow staff. It'll help defend you from other people. People like the shredder. <gasps> you. What did you do on Mikey? Huh? <gasps> shredder. <laughs> 